Hey everybody, it's Hey Bill Gates. Uh, just kind of wanted to come back and uh, shoot you guys, um, I guess, kind of my first console review. Uh, I just recently, as you can see on the right, uh, picked up the blue limited edition Wii. Um, and, uh, you know, I have my original launch Wii. Um, I also have the 25th anniversary Wii. Um, and I just kind of wanted to show the differences between them um, for those who have may not known um, uh, basically the differences of the three. Um, I also kind of wanted to just kind of, um, since I'm a new owner of a upcoming website, uh, which I'll have more details uh, sooner, um, kind of goes into my new... Um, Kind of goes along with my new collection. Um, I'm getting away from more collecting games and getting into consoles. So um, this new website, which I'll again have more details on, um, is really just going to be an homage to really just the differences uh, of colors throughout the console history. So that might give you a hint. So let me go ahead and start off with which the launch of the, uh, basically the launch Wii. This is my launch Wii, day one. Um, I've, again, kept this all original. If you guys can just see the thin, thinner uh, Wii strap. Um, so, again, this is the launch Wii. Uh, there's a great story goes along with this one. Um, uh, when I was standing in line for... Circuit City, back when Circuit City was open, um, I got there, everybody knows how chaotic it was, people lining up for days, I showed up at um, at Circuit City, which opened up at 10 a.m., um, and I stood there maybe about six hours, um, and my wife decided to wake up uh, around maybe about uh, 45 minutes to an hour before our local Walmart opened, and wanted to treat me to uh, a Wii, see if she can get it before I did, and she did. Uh, she called me, said I'm holding a Wii in my hand. Actually, she was holding two of them. Um, I rushed down there, and uh, yeah, it was great. You know, that's a great shorter version, but that's my launch Wii. Um, it's seen a lot of days. It's got markings. It's got scrapes. Um, it's got the little bumpers are scratched, are missing, but... Uh, I'll never get rid of this. This was an awesome, awesome day when uh, my wife showed up 45 minutes before Walmart opens. And uh, people, they, they told them that, hey, you know, you guys, uh, we don't have enough. Uh, there may have been, she said, maybe about 100 people, and they said they had about 25 Wii's. Well, she stuck it out, and some people's credit cards didn't go through, and they found another whole box of uh, Nintendo Wii's. Uh, in the back, so they had more, and she picked them up while everybody uh, got in their cars and ran off. So, nothing really special. Everybody knows pretty much the white Wii when it comes to you know just standard white. Um, big ben benefit of this one is again, you've got your GameCube. So this is backwards compatible. That's a first for the Nintendo itself. So everybody pretty much knows the white Wii. Some people pretty much have seen the red one. Um, this is of course the 25th anniversary. So it's just red all around. Um, this one I was a little bit disappointed because if I actually go and grab and unzip, this is... Sorry about the bad camera angle. Doggy's in the way. But this is the 25th anniversary Nintendo uh, DSiXL. As you can see, you know, it says Super Mario Brothers 25th Anniversary. It's got the little mushroom, the flower, and the star on there. This one, again, is the 25th Anniversary, but it has none of those on the console. So I was really disappointed. But again, it is backwards compatible, so it's got the GameCube controllers. But if you notice, there's a lot of details that Nintendo did do. If you see pre from previously, on when I come up to the blue, I'll point them out, but... Notice the wrist strap also matches the also the uh, protector, the silicone sleeve that goes on it also matches very well. Uh, no, and it's nice, bright, shiny red. I'm really kind of happy with this one. And then again, this is the Wii Motion Plus inside, so it's got the Wii Mo Motion Plus um, included. Now, if you go on to this, is the new limited edition. Blue Wii, so this one was just released on Black Friday through Walmart Exclusive. If you notice, here's the silicone sleeve. This is your standard white one. 
If you also notice, the strap does not match. Now it's nice, it does have the nunchuck that does match. Um, but this one is not inclusive with a stand. This is one that you do include just vertical. So that's how you do have it. I mean, it can stand up if you want it to, but it is meant to be vertical. Um, and it is not backwards compatible. So like the new black one that they released with the Mario Kart Wii. So that one is $150 and you get the Mario Kart Wii, which is great. This one was $99 bucks for Black Friday, but it doesn't. Here it is. It's... It's almost there. I mean, it's just, it's not inclusive. Another funny thing about this one, I don't know if anybody's ever shot it, but I just turned it on today. If you go to the Wii channel, uh, the disc channel on the Wii, it actually still shows the software for the GameCube. So it's, you know, if you're familiar with the, any of these other versions, the disc channel shows both the Wii and the Game, GameCube discs. So normally if you put it in, you know, the GameCube, one of these, it'll, you know, you highlight it and play it. But unfortunately with that one, it's kind of a tease. I did try it just to see what it does and it just, it won't even read it. It spits it right back out. So, you know, sadly, I know they cut back on the prices of that so it can cut costs. Um, a lot of people from websites were not sure if this is uh, Wi-Fi enabled. It is Wi-Fi enabled, so that's good. Um, basically when it comes to my collection itself, you know, this one's basically just going to go into a display. I really have no interest if it's not going to play the GameCube. I've already got two others. Um, the only one I'm missing from my collection is the black one, which eventually I'll get when I see one for under 50 bucks. Um, when, you know, what's the Nintendo Wii U comes out, I'm sure that, you know, GameStop and every everybody else is going to be just unloading them. I'll get the GameCube backwards compatible black Wii, but that color really, it's not a limited edition, so it really doesn't interest me. But considering that's the only color that's missing from my Wii uh, collection, you know, eventually for 50 bucks, that won't be too bad of a deal. So, you know, in my opinion overall, since I kind of said this is a, a, a review, I really enjoy the Red Wii. Again, that's more nostalgia, 25th anniversary, but I think they went into a little bit more detail. I enjoy the GameCube backwards compatibility because with my limited space, I even in my old, if you look at my older videos, I did have the GameCube set up. Here, I just don't. Um, and I do enjoy the GameCube. I still play it to this day. It's one of my five favorite consoles. Um, the GameCube is so top five, I should say. So that's just kind of an overall review. This one is near and dear to my heart. This one is my favorite color. This is a great edition. Again, it's just limited edition. You know, who knows? You know how Nintendo is when it comes to limited editions. You know, may we release it later on? Who knows? But at the time I picked that up, it was pretty much sold out. I picked it up online uh, the day before Black Friday, and and I just got it today. So, again, this is Hate Bill Gates. Hope you enjoyed. Hope this adds a little bit of more understanding about the different consoles and their um, uniqueness. Um, if you have any questions, comment below, and uh, I'll catch you guys on the flip side.